as you become more popular and you become more influential, mm-hmm. there's a point where, you know, the Kobe Bryant's of the world or, I mean, I don't know, the Tom Brady's of the world, yeah. they become your friends. They, yes. These guys, you know, they get to know you and, and yes. perhaps you've said something great about them. But then do you worry as a journalist, if I'm friends with these guys, how hard is it to be objectively critical of these guys? Before friendship takes place, the boundaries are set. Your personal life is your business. Mm -hmm. But what you do on the field or court of play in front of thousands in attendance and millions watching, that's my domain. And what you're not going to do is compromise telling me what the hell I saw. So, so do you, you ever play get like the phone garbage. call? Huh? But oh, do you yeah. have, so let's Absolutely. say a guy. Absolutely. Like, I don't know who's, uh, who's Kobe. one of the. Kobe, Kobe God okay. rest his soul. Yes. Uh, he scared me. Now he scared me. Kobe scared, <laughs> to, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe scared the living shit out of me. Because here's why. Kobe was a savant. You did not know more basketball than Kobe Bryant. Right. So when Kobe Bryant called you. To complain, and, and this is exact, I can quote him. I mean, I could, oh, I miss him so much. I can quote him for you right now. Voicemail. You know who this is, motherfucker. <laughs> Get your ass up, pick up the fucking phone, and call me back. That bullshit you just said. Wow. And don't keep me waiting but so long either. Your ass better not go on the air and say some other shit before you talk to me. What that had you Kobe. said? What did you say? I would say something along the lines of, you know something? I don't like the way he's playing. It's selfish basketball right now. Look at this shot. Look at that shot selection. Look at this decision. Wow. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And he called me up. And so he called me up. And I'll be like this. What now, man? And, he's, and he'll say, look, you say you watching basketball. The motherfucker watched the game. You didn't see this person do this. You didn't see him do this. You didn't see this dude miss this back cut. You didn't see this dude miss this dunk. You didn't see him drop the damn three passes that I threw to him over the first fucking 20 minutes. The fuck are you talking about? And by the way, you see here and you see this coach, right? He don't know what the fuck he's doing, Steve. He don't know what he's doing, Steve. And they, what you doing? What you talking about? So you're going to bring up all that shit about me, but you didn't bring up that. And I went like this. Well, we were talking about you. I get all what you're saying, but that don't absolve the shit you did. And then we get into it. And he says, wow. and then he'll go like this. I have no idea why I love your ass. I really don't. <laughs> Sometimes I really, really don't. But I love you. He said, but you go on the air, you say that shit again. I'm calling you to curse your ass out. But oh, what an honor yeah. to have Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball Ever. players, to be so invested in your opinion. 